For this question, we have a 28-year-old man who has shortness of breath, fatigue, he's felt dizzy, he's got conjunctival pallor, MCV is 70, hemoglobin 9, ferritin at 10. Which lab finding are you most likely to see if we have microcytic peripheral blood smears with hypochromic red blood cells and some anisocytosis? Well, there are a couple of labs that you have to know for this question. First of all is low ferritin. That's the strongest indicator of iron deficiency anemia. Also the microcytic blood smear and the hypochromic red blood cells, that's classic morphology for iron deficiency. And that flow murmur means there's some reduced oxygen carrying capacity. And so the total iron binding content is gonna increase whenever the body is trying to scavenge iron due to a deficiency. And the transferrin saturation is gonna drop, but this question is asking what's most likely elevated. And so the TIBC rise is gonna be most characteristic. Basically, the iron stores are falling, so the ferritin is going to be decreased, and the liver increases transferrin production, the TIBC is going to rise, and so there's less iron available, the transferrin saturation is going to fall, and the hepcidin is going to decrease due to the increased intestinal iron uptake. And overall, you have reduced hemoglobin synthesis, which makes it that microcytic hypochromic anemia. So here are some notes, but it's important to know that transferrin is the protein that's made by the liver that binds iron in your blood and delivers it to where it's needed, especially in the bone marrow. Transferrin is the uber of iron. It picks up the iron from like the gut or the liver storage and it carries it through the bloodstream and it drops it off at the cells that need it. Because your body can't use just freely floating iron, it's toxic. So the iron always has to be bound to transferrin. And so if your body is low on iron, it's like, oh my gosh, I gotta pick up some more. And so it makes more transferrin to increase the chances of grabbing any stray molecules. This means you have high TIBC. And that's because there's not enough iron around and most of those transferrins are gonna be empty. So there's low transferrin saturation. So let's talk to our patient here. Look up for me. Good. And relax. Your conjunctiva is pretty pale. Yeah, I feel like I'm running on empty. Let's have a listen. There's a soft flow murmur. Often happens when the blood's thin. Your labs show low hemoglobin and iron stores. Explains why I'm so wiped out. 